Erin is my babysitter. By Andrea Pobna Sanchez. Illustrated by Mario Cortez or Cortez and Merrick Cell Andrew. If I've messed up on that, please correct me in the comments below. Here we go. One afternoon in Atlantica, Princess Ariel was ready to start her first, her very first babysitting job. Goodbye, she called to Melvin Octopus's parents. Have a good time at the party. See you later, added Melvin. He was looking forward to having fun with the Little Mermaid. So, yeah, there you go. There's Ariel turning up to her babysitting job and seeing the parents off. What are we going to do? Melvin asked. I heard there's a sunken ship not too far away, Ariel said. Let's go exploring. Cool, said Melvin, and they set off. As the shipwreck came into view, Ariel's eyes widened. Actual humans were once on this ship, she said in amazement. Melvin didn't know what humans were, but he was just as excited. So, okay, there are Ariel and Melvin swimming towards it, and there is the actual shipwreck. Yep, there they go. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Melvin said, pointing in eight different directions at once. I wish I knew, said Ariel with a giggle. The ship steering wheel caught Ariel's eye. I wonder what this does, she said. Melvin rushed over to check it out. The thing had eight knobs, one for each of his tentacles. So he decided to climb on. Well, there they are, going to explore the uh, shipwreck. And there's Melvin at the steering wheel of the ship. When Melvin had all his tentacles on the wheel, it started spinning. Whoa, that was one crazy ride. Finally, the wheel came to a stop. Ariel couldn't help laughing as the dizzy little octopus tried to swim straight. Okay, so there's Melvin spinning the wheel. And there he is feeling dizzy afterwards. Like an ocean roundabout. Then Ariel noticed something shiny in the sand. I'll get it out, Melvin volunteered. He used his tentacles to dig and dig. Okay, so there are Ariel and Melvin digging in the sand. And it looks like they're unearthing... Well, we'll find out what it is, shall we? Before long, Melvin had uncovered a silver strainer. I have no idea what it is, but I love it, Ariel declared. It's the coolest treasure I've ever seen, Melvin said. After all the excitement, it was time to go. It's almost bedtime, said Ariel. She took one of Melvin's tentacles in her hand and started to swim home. But she didn't get very far. 
Melvin had wrapped his other tentacles tightly around the ship's mast. Oh dear. So yeah. There's the strainer, or colander as we Brits call it. And there's... <laughs> Ariel trying to take Melvin home. And there he is wrapped around the ship's mast. I'm not ready to go home. I want to have more fun. Melvin squirted a cloud of ink and took off. Try to catch me, he yelled as he swam away. So there's Melvin now squirting his ink and swimming away from Ariel. Oh dear. When the ink cleared, Ariel didn't know where to look. Octopuses are good at hiding. They can change colour to blend in with their surroundings. Ariel looked this way. And Ariel looked that way, but, but she couldn't find Melvin. Ariel zoomed through the seaweed forest. Okay, uh, want to play a game of Spot the Octopus? There she is looking for Melvin. And... Yeah, there he is. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> I don't think that is him, actually, but... You know. She zipped around Sebastian's orchestra practice, but she still couldn't find Melvin. Out of breath, Ariel stopped to rest. I am the worst babysitter ever, she mumbled to herself. Melvin's parents will be home soon, and I've lost Melvin. Okay, so there she is zooming through Sebastian's orchestra practice, and there she is lamenting over having lost a young octopus. Ariel heard, then Ariel heard snoring. She looked down and saw Melvin. He had dug himself a hole and fallen fast asleep. She used the silver strainer to gently scoop him out of the sand. Melvin woke up and smiled. You found me! He said to Ariel, you're a good babysitter. Melvin was too sleepy to swim home, so Ariel carried him in the strainer. I'll have to ask Scuttle if humans use this for carrying children around, she said. FYI, Ariel, they don't. They use it for straining their vegetables. <laughs> so you've learned something new today here, kids. There you go. Anyway, there she is, uncovering the little scamp. And there she is carrying him home. Melvin was safe in bed just moments before his parents arrived. I hope Melvin didn't give you any problems, Mrs Octopus said to Ariel. Oh, nothing I couldn't handle, she replied. It was one babysitting adventure she would never forget. And there she is, welcoming the parents home and telling them about it. So, that is, or that was, Ariel is my babysitter. Join me next time as we continue the Disney Princess insert name here is my babysitter trilogy. <laughs> With uh, Cinderella is my babysitter. Until then, good night. <laughs> <laughs>